From anatomy to anesthesiology, from pathology to pharmacology, from microbiology to medicine, a one-man resource to the world of health sciences. Welcome to Dr. Paul's Medical Lectures. A practicing physician, Dr. Paul offers you essential insights on diseases afflicting millions of people around the world. For today's lecture, here is Dr. Paul. Good evening, folks. This is Dr. Paul. Thank you very much for tuning to our channel this evening. And today I want to show you an x-ray of pneumonia. And uh, I recently saw this patient in my clinic. This is a 14-year-old female uh, who went to her primary care doctor like five days ago with uh, sinus congestion. The primary care doctor diagnosed her as sinusitis and gave her augmentin, 875 milligrams twice a day for 10 days and sent her home. So she was taking augmentin and uh, after taking it for three days, she started to develop fever, fever and uh, she, she has no appetite, she is fatigued, she is coughing, she is getting headaches, she is getting abdominal pain, she is getting nausea. So she came to my clinic. So when I saw her, her vital signs are like uh, her temperature 102.2 and her pulse was like uh, 85 and her uh, SCO2 is like 98%, respiratory rate like 18 and she complained of uh, fever, headache, sinus congestion, cough, uh, it's dry cough with no expectoration, body aches, and an nausea. Those are the symptoms. So I took uh, an x-ray and I suspected pneumonia because of the fever and cough. And I took the x-ray and I want to show you the x-ray now. So in this x-ray, first see the right side and then the left side. You can see, for example, on the left side, the hot border is like, I mean, it's normal. You can see a sharp hot border. But you can go to the right side here and you can see that the haziness, like... Uh, in the lower part of the axis, but as you go up, you can see a clear consolidation. All of this, folks, that is the on the right upper lobe, you can see a clear consolidation, and uh, that's a very, very characteristic of uh, pneumonia. So, this is the particular area where she is having the consolidation, and uh, that consolidation is the characteristic uh, pathophysiology uh, in pneumonia. So you can see, uh, let, let me a little bit uh, enlarge the area. And uh, you see this area, this whitish area, and all of that is consolidation, folks. A very, very, I mean, you don't see that in every x-ray. Many times patients come with pneumonia and you may not see consolidation, just some effusion. But in this patient, we are seeing a very, very clear, uh, a very clear consolidation. In fact, I mean, uh, even a child would uh, look at that, that something is wrong in this x-ray, you see. Uh, on the left side, let me a little bit uh, darken it. Uh, you can see everything is normal on the left side, right? But uh, you see that that is a gastric bubble. That is the gastric bubble. And on the top, you can see the lung. The borders are nice. The heart border is uh, very, very sharp here. And on the top of the lung also, everything is normal on the left side. But come to the right side, you can see a very, very, I mean, in the right lower lobe areas, it is normal. Like there is like uh, the air is nice. The heart border is nice. The sternum is nice. The, but go to the top, the right upper lobe and the middle of it, and you can see clearly here a very, very characteristic consolidation. So, uh, this consolidation, once we say, I mean, it's a clear marker, and then once we decide uh, what is happening to this patient, like it's always outpatient treatment or inpatient treatment. It always depends on how the patient looks. If the patient is like very, very fatigued, and her vital signs are not stable, 
then we need to admit the patient for inpatient treatment with antibiotics. But uh, if the patient is not stable, is good, stable, healthy, the vital signs are good, then we can try uh, outpatient management with antibiotics with a close follow-up because things could turn bad at any time. So when you see these kind of patients, first see first you need to decide is this a candidate for outpatient treatment or inpatient treatment. Not every patient with pneumonia need admission into a hospital. And most of the times you can treat them. I mean if they are if their vital signs are stable, if they are uh, uh, healthy young individuals, you can treat them outside. But in this patient I send her as an inpatient uh, um, admission because this patient's vital signs are already, I mean, she's developing tachycardia, dehydration, not eating, not sleeping well. So this patient is at a clear risk. I mean, she could go into respiratory failure at any time if this pneumonia is not treated well. And sometimes many patients have to go to ICU admission for the treatment of pneumonia. So this kind of patient needs admission in the hospital, but the respiratory signs are good, if the patient is stable, healthy, eating, and then we need to, uh, we, we can think of, I mean, it's, uh, even when older individuals, when their vital signs are stable, we can always think about uh, outpatient treatment. That's about uh, uh, consolidation, uh, looking for consolidation on a chest x-ray. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. For more medical videos, please visit us at www.drpaul.org and take time to browse through hundreds of health videos we regularly post on our site. If you are preparing for USMLE, PLAB, and other medical exams, make sure you visit our website to browse through our videos explaining the essential points you need to know before taking these examinations. For more information, visit us at www.drpaul.org. Thank you, and may God richly bless you.